We've got about 10 acres of sandfoin, and sandfoin is a crop that was commonplace across vast parts of England uh, before the invent actually of tractors. They used to feed the working horses on this crop, and they reckon that one in seven fields, in certainly in the Cotswolds and the Hampshire Downs and the Vale of Glamorgan and places, were covered in sandfoin. And it's a crop that we know and love. It's um, a very good fertility building crop. So this is a nitrogen fixing plant. On the bottom of the crop is uh, a root system that takes atmospheric nitrogen and transfers it to the soil so that when we grow another crop after this in our crop rotation, we don't need fertilizers. So in this case, we don't put fertilizers on the crop. This is actually a nine year old crop here um, and it grows for fun. It suits this alkaline soil very well. And it was known as the queen of forages. I can see why it's not only beautiful, but it's also jolly good for livestock production. And I don't need to tell you, you can see the bees here. It is just alive with honeybees, bumblebees, and well, what's not to like about it really? So even though I can't eat this directly myself, I can take some of the honey that comes from the crop and we, uh, we really love it from here. So this is, as you can see, uh, the popular, not just for humans to eat the honey, but also for bees to take pollen and nectar. And um, yeah, it's a lovely crop to have about.